Wait a minute. Internet. Sorry about that. You you were just a little bit too soon. You can't just show up like that unannounced. Now, what's this video all about then? Colin first stuff. Kind of an update video because you may have noticed the content has been a little bit patchy over the last few months. Because like ever since I got the 10 million subscriber button after the first lockdown, I kind of had a bit of a chill really. Because there's not many people with my subscriber count where everything is done by one person. Because I still do all the filming, I still do all the editing, everything I make, design and create has all come from my head. That's a lot of weight on one person's shoulders. But not been sat idle, no. There's a couple of cool projects which I'm gonna, so I'll give you some sneak previews which I'm working on. I've got a massive one coming up in the next series of video. It is huge, it is the tallest, biggest thing I have ever made. But also, after the first lockdown, I've got this amazing, get Colin first puzzle now. Yes, now now you're thinking, it's 2020 Colin, people don't do puzzles anymore, it's all electronic stuff. Awesome. If you have not done one of these for years, they're absolutely fantastic. Now, it's a thousand piece. There's a local artist done it, because I like to keep things local. It's kind of a fictional scene of my back garden, a little bit like Where's Wally, but it's not Where's Colin, because there's Collins all over it. There's loads of inventions. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, because this is not a merch pushing video. This is an update video with loads of other interesting things, like what on earth's been going on, Colin? Well, I've got new tools. Now it's made by a company called HMB Machines. Uh, HBM, you fool! Which is a Dutch company. This was recommended to me by a Spanish YouTuber called Rocha. I'd noticed it in his videos. He's doing some really cool lathe work. And I was like, what's your lathe? And it's basically, that's how it all come about. Now, it is a tiny bit bigger than the old one. It's about 15 centimeters longer, but it's a lot bulkier. I mean, so much to the point where I thought I would just get it delivered, lift the old one off, chuck it on. No. We had to have Tom Lamb and the Mini Digger in here just to pick it up because it's like the heaviest thing known to man. Now it's pretty much the same as my old lay, but there's two things it does which the other one didn't. It's got a cross feed and it's got a side feed or whatever you call it. So not only does it go back and forth automatically, it also goes forwards and backwards automatically. And then also, now this is the good bit, it's got a DRO. Now I don't know how to use these yet, but there is a This Old Tony video on how to use these, so I'm gonna have to go back and watch that now I've got one so I can understand it. But there's a cool little game you can play that you can move it around and the numbers go up and then you can zero it zero the Y, move it, and then try and get it back to zero again. Come on. Uh, you're talking like, f oh, I've gone over it. Thousands of a millimeter. Five, f yes! Do -do -do -do. I got it zero. I mean, it's a beautiful machine, look. It's super quiet. I mean, look at that. Oh. But one of the most exciting things, when I got it out of the box, check out this chuck. This, this is a quality keyless chuck. I mean, look at that. Oh, that is smooth. That's gonna grab stuff, that is. That is beautiful. I nearly don't wanna use it. Oh, look at it pinch right to a point. Anyway, got another tool as well. So this is my electric ring roller. Now this is made by Amob UK. Now you've seen this in a few projects already of bending box section, aluminium stuff. I've done some also big 40 mil box. It's quite a cool machine really. All you have to do is put your foot on these little uh, lever bits in and it will go forwards or backwards and it's effortless. Now then, if we change these ring rollers to ones that aren't flat, we can bend tube. I says we have a crack at that because I've not tried that yet. Hmm. It's not making a bad job of it really. It's still nice and round. It's not overized it or crushed it. The only thing I've got to keep an eye on is it's not wandering off like that. Just a little bit more. There we are. 
Done a nice job of that. Okay, this is not the only new bender Colin has. Now I've also got this tube bender. I got it from Stakes. It's a JD squared model 32, and this will do round and square tube from about half inch all the way up to two and a half inch, and it is fantastic. It makes an absolutely lovely job of everything it does. It's really good, it's not electronic, it's not got any hydraulics, it's all done off like a clever ratcheting system and it's kind of effortless to use. Now I've got to bolt it to the floor because it's a fair old lump and the reason why I've got it is because of this project in here which I shall show you. Now this is what I'm calling a drift quad. <laughs> Now, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, because this thing is going to be awesome when it gets released. Now, channel members have known about this for quite some time, and essentially how I describe it is it is a motorbike squeezed into a go-kart. It's got a CR250 engine in it, so it's going to be super fast, and what I kind of want is the stability of a go-kart, but with the weight distribution options of a motorbike. Now, the unique thing about this is I'm going to try and put some rather peculiar control systems on it. I don't know if they're going to work, because I've not seen them on anything else before, which might mean something but other than that I'm pretty excited about this but Colin why have you stopped working on it well I've been asked to make something absolutely massive. this is the chassis uh, it's big it's really big in fact everything is big wheels they're big too I've made some random purchases as well <laughs> I bought a shark head <laughs> So basically drove past the shop, saw this in the window, and I was like, I'm having that, that's the shark head. I turned straight round, I went in the shop, I bought the shark head. But what am I gonna do with the shark head? I mean, you can't help but love the shark head. If you didn't just watch that and not smile, then there's something wrong with you. Cause it's a shark head. What am I gonna do with you? Shark bike? Shark toilet? Stop having the toilet in the video. Shark bed! <laughs> Now, speaking of beds, so while Sean and Ruth from the Kids Invent Stuff YouTube channel wait for their new workshop to be made, they come and borrow mine to build this wonderful alarm clock, where if you don't get out of bed in time, you get a lot of balls dropped on your head. Right, go on, let's have a go. Oh, I just don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah! If you want to see the video, I'll stick a link in the description you can see how they made it. It's a wonderful device, I say. Oh yeah, and there's first face masks available now too. <laughs> if you don't want me to ever make a video like this ever again, do tell me. But of course, if you do want me to do it, do it, man, don't tell me to. <laughs> Alexa, play See You Next Thursday by Plot32. Here's See You Next Thursday by Plot32 on Amazon Music. Yeah. Now this is a song written purposely for the Colin Furs YouTube channel by the band Plot32. Thank you very much. Now the reason why they've done that is because all of my music on my videos is sent by you, the viewers. So if you're in a band and you want your music played on my videos, send it into Furzmail at yahoo.co.uk and I'll check it out. Like you, meet folks who build some scary projects on their YouTube. There is one thing I'll say to them. So if I, see you I also get sent things like this. Okay, here is the plan. Just need to cover it in fireworks and get on with it. Yeah. I'm coming down. 
Now, some of you may notice I've also gone and got myself a laser cutter, which is down in the bunker shed. Now, it's made by Boxford. It's got a 600 by 900 bed on it, and it's proven itself to be pretty useful. And I've been cutting out these little leather things here, making key rings out of them. And this leads me back, of course, to my merch, as well as the brand new Colin First puzzle. Absolutely fantastic! Because it's Christmas and we're all running out of money because of Corona and lockdowns, I've done a Colin First gift set, which is basically a bundle of stuff at a discount price. And of course, included in that is the handmade key rings, which have been made inside the shed. Now, there's not going to be many of these boxes, so if you are interested in one, I'll snap at it pretty quick. Now, what you get, you get a sticker kit, you get a signed Christmas card. Ooh, you see my signature. It's terrible, but at least you know it's me. And then you get a mug, t-shirt of whatever size you want, and of course, official Colin Furs safety tie. Oh yeah. So that'll be available on the website now. Of course, with all the other things, you know, the Hover Corpse t-shirt and jumper, the other design of t-shirts, and of course, you can get signed books on there as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your support. And that is pretty much the update. Next week's video will be the first part of the epic build project. Right, see you there. Subscribe. Hello, doo doo. Say, say you. Next Thursday, say you. Next Thursday.